Hi everybody, it's Drew Barrymore here for Tip Tuesdays for Flower Beauty. Today is a special Tip Tuesday as we are giving a shout out to our friends at Women's Health. And um, I'm actually on the cover, I swear this is not self-promotion, it's just to show that we're working together. And uh, they're actually going to promote this Tip Tuesday as well um, on their website. And we were lucky enough to receive a question from one of their readers. Um, and her name is Vanessa... Konopaki, I hope that's how you pronounce it. Um, Vanessa, nonetheless, um, if I'm screwing up your name, I'm so sorry. And I loved your question, which was um, holiday makeup that is subtle, um, not overdone and works well in all those holiday photos. Great question. Um, and something that I'm excited to talk about because I've actually kind of already figured out um, what from the Flower Beauty line I want to wear for myself this holiday. Um, to any party I may be lucky enough to go to. <clears throat> so we have this beautiful cream shadow from our line called Time Willow Tell. Now the reason that I created it was because I was looking to do a smoky eye that wasn't black or gray or brown. I really wanted to do something that was just a little bit different but would have that same kind of depth that a smoky eye does but also a light and a brightness to it. So, of course, being Christmas, the, you know, traditional colors are red and green. However, red and green is a little tough to pull off in a makeup sense on your face. So this is a great way to do it because the tone is so pretty that you can represent the Christmas spirit and color without it looking too cartoony, if you will. So <clears throat> this is one of my favorite colors from this line. Um, I absolutely love it. I also love to drag a little bit down to the bottom. I just even smudge it with my fingers so that when you have light reflecting on the top of your eye, it also collects the light on the bottom of the eye. And I just think there's a cohesion there that's really, really pretty. I think it's also really important because it surrounds the color of your eyeball too. Um, the circular nature of the color of the makeup I think complements the eyeball itself. So that's why I always do it. And then depending on how subtle you want to be, you can wear black mascara, one coat. You can add a little bit of eyeliner on the waterline. You can add tons of mascara if you want. And if you're going to a daytime holiday party, try brown mascara or brown eyeliner. I think those are always a bit more daytime appropriate than a black. So I'm gonna pile on the mascara. I am gonna add a tiny little bit of black on the waterline because I just always think that it brings it all together in a really nice way. And then for our red representation of green and red for Christmas, I'm gonna pull out Cherry Chiffon, our lip butter. Now, we have really great reds in this line, but the reason I'm going to pull out a lip butter is because at a holiday party, you tend to talk, eat, and drink. So that's a lot of activity for your mouth, and it's nice when you can have something that's really luscious and moisturizing. Lipstick can perform a little bit drier, a little bit more like paint, and you don't really want to be in situations where you know your lipstick is going to be moving a little bit more. So I think a lip butter. Our pigments are really, really expensive and beautiful. So what it does is it gives you still the same amount of color as a lipstick, but so much more forgiveness. And it just keeps it looking shiny and bright, just like the poppiness of your eyes. Now, another trick I like to do, and this is subtle and quick, I always take my lip, dot it on my cheek, and create a little bit of a blush color with it. The reason I think that it's more subtle also is because I think when you have too many colors on your face, I think people tend to look at you trying to decipher how much makeup you're really wearing and how many products and color you used. So when there's this nice cohesion of monochromatic, I also do a little on the forehead and a little down the slope of the nose, sometimes in the jawline just to give a little contouring. What that does is it's the same thing people do when they use a bronzer, they do the three. And the reason that they do that down the slope of the nose and on the cheekbones and the forehead is because that's where the sun would naturally hit you. Those are the high points on your face. So always using color there sort of makes it look a little bit more 
sun-kissed and natural. Um, all right, that's it. Those are my holiday looks. And ironically, I am wearing this eyeshadow and a different lip um, on this co cover. I'm wearing Rosebud. Um, but you can see that it definitely photographs um, wonderfully. And I thank everyone at Women's Health because I couldn't be more proud of that cover and feel lucky to be on it and to show all the flower beauty makeup. And I promise you, you will look good and you will most importantly feel good at the holiday parties you attend if you wear these colors. Um, so I wish you luck, Vanessa. Thank you for asking your question. Thanks everybody at Women's Health. I hope that everybody watching this, wherever you are, have the happiest, happiest holidays.